the Cuphead show is really popular, at least for the most part, with its two seasons doing well on Netflix and rumors of a third on the way. But as with any adaptation, there are issues when it comes to transporting characters from one medium to another. Some characters transfer well, others not so much. We're here to discuss who did it better, the Cuphead show or Cuphead the game. Hey guys, I'm Brad with Wicked Bench, and this is Cuphead Characters, show versus game. It only makes sense to begin with Cuphead. Cuphead is one of the few characters who has plenty of personality placed into them by the game. Cuphead is confident, ready for a fight, and makes things look easy. He's willing to beat any of the debtors, and he knows how to do it. Despite his confidence, he's shown to be a bit of a gambler and very headstrong. He also quickly cowers against the devil. Cuphead has a lot of interesting traits, but in the show, he's a bit different. In the show, his confidence is dialed up, but now it's combined with idiocy and hardheadedness. You're nothing but a common thing. These things make him more fun, but certain episodes make him the worst character. Cuphead acts like a bratty child, so much so, you can make an argument that he is a child in the series. The problem with the game version of Cuphead is he has silent main protagonist syndrome, and we have to learn a lot of things through just implication. However, we believe the Cuphead game portrays this character better. Next is Mugman. Mugman is Cuphead's brother, usually portrayed as the younger one, the Luigi to Cuphead heads Mario. Much like Luigi, he wears a cool color, is a bit taller in some places, and is also shown to be a coward or at least overly cautious. In the game, Mugman cautions Cuphead at every conceivable opportunity, trying to stop them from entering the Devil's Casino. Before battles, he has to boost his confidence, whether it be through drinking from his own mug or hyping himself up. Mugman shows enough confidence to help Cuphead through anything, and even tries the weird cookie given to him by Miss Chalice. In the series, this is dialed up to 11. His cautious attitude leads to him being the voice of reason, so much so that some people find it annoying. Mugman still fights with his brother, and he sticks to schedules, plans, and the such, even getting exceedingly angry and sad at times, which shows a wider array of personality. Mugman fulfills a lot of classic tropes, but that doesn't stop him from being a fun and interesting character. Because of this and his personality, we believe the Cuphead show betrays this character better. Now we have Miss Chalice. Chalice is a very interesting character because the show and the game have the character almost completely different. In the game, Chalice is actually the legendary Chalice, a spirit you save throughout the game, who has powerful mystic powers that she gifts to the cups, giving them access to the powerful super arts. However, in the DLC, she's able to get a physical body thanks to Chef Saltbaker, where she's shown to be sneaky and snarky, but overall enjoying her time alive. She also has more variety in terms of moveset, which makes her more interesting. However, in the series, she completely drops the damsel in distress angle, instead being a grifter who somehow has ghostly abilities. She's confident, headstrong, and very similar to Cuphead, just league smarter than him. This chalice is nothing but trouble. We love trouble! She shows genuine care for the cups, and it's obvious that she's a person who puts fun and friendship above any semblance of care for the law. This was difficult because of how different they are, but we believe believe the Cuphead show portrays this character better because she's more interesting. Next is the Devil. The Devil is the main antagonist of both the game and the show, where he's out to collect souls, specifically those who bet their souls and lose. In the game, it's much more obvious he runs a casino and losers get their souls taken. However, when Cuphead and Mugman beg for leeway, he lets them go out and collect all of his outstanding debts. He seems more agreeable, and if the Cups give him the contracts, he enlists them into his army of demons. He only wishes to kill the Cups once they refuse him his contracts. He's schemy and full of evil intention, complete with a dark sense of humor and a lot of demons in his employ. In the series, however, he's much more sneaky, collecting souls through more interesting means like the carnival and roll the dice. He's also more incompetent, unable to collect the cup's soul. He also has extreme anger issues and a lot of unsolved issues. While we enjoy the show's singing and theatrical version of the character, we believe the Cuphead game version is better. Now we have King Dice. King Dice is the Devil's right-hand man and a high-ranking member of the Devil's army, even being the one mostly in charge of the Devil's casino. In the game, he doesn't get that much time to really show off his personality, but he's a generally happy guy who enjoys his position and sings a lot. Dice is also a betting man, putting heavy stuff on the line when he bets that Cuphead and Mugman wouldn't get all the debtors. 
King Dice in the series doesn't get a lot of screen time, but he's portrayed as someone who's very egotistical and cares about his status and appearance. Who's the host with the most? Mm. He still stands as the devil's number one and utilizes this position well. He's also a little famous, hosting the Isles' number one game show, Roll the Dice, which is a front for Soul Collection. Due to a major lack of screen time in both cases, it was hard to choose. We believe the Cuphead show version is better. Now we have Pork Rind. Pork Rind is the owner and operator of Pork Rind's Emporium, and the one who sells the many weapons and items that Cuphead and Mugman use in their adventures. In the game, he seems to tolerate Cuphead and Mugman for the most part. Sure, he gets annoyed when they're in there for too long, but even that makes sense. He even seems to have a lover that he keeps a picture of. In the series, he's much more angry and much less likable. He threatens to and envisions killing the Cup Boys, and is also a black market dealer. He seems to hate the Cups and likely children in general, based on what he hates about the boys. He also doesn't seem to care about their safety. Pork Ryan is an interesting character, but we believe the Cuphead game does it better. Now we have the Root Pack. The Root Pack are the first bosses in the game and are designed to be easy for a reason. This translates into their personality from what we can gather. The Root Pack consists of Sal Sputter, a large potato who seems to be the brute force of the group, Ollie Bulb, the very sad and anxious onion known for crying, and finally, Chauncey Chatane, who has psychic abilities and seems to be the leader of the group to some degree, as he's the final segment. All three have unique and obvious traits that do get carried over into the series. In the show, Sal seems to be the leader of the group and also the brains behind the operation as he comes up with the lies. Chauncey is regulated more to a side role, laughing crazily and being generally a nuisance to the Cup brothers. However, Ali is almost exactly the same, only being more connected to the dastardly plans than he was before. You just had to start blubbering, didn't ya? We have to argue that the Cuphead show version is better. Now we have Werner Wormann. Werner is a German rat that you fight late in the game. Werner in the game doesn't have too much to go off of, but he is an inventor with a lot of self-confidence that borders on insane ego. Werner seems to be related to German war styling, specifically those of World War I, and he utilizes a tank. Werner in the series shares a lot of similarities as he is destructive, intelligent, and more than willing to fight with the Cups. He knows how to annoy them and get what he wants. This also relays his war stylings, such as his tank combat skills in the game. The biggest change between the two is that Werner in the series seems to be American or otherwise not German, which isn't the most important change, but it's still worth noting. So we believe that the Cuphead game does it better. The penultimate pick is Ludwig. Ludwig is an interesting case because he's not the most important character in the game, but gets a full episode in the show. In the game, he's a record player you find late in the game who talks mostly about music and little else. However, in the series, it turns out that he's a master musician, having played piano for years and now teaching the new generation how to play the piano. He starts by teaching Mugman and he seems to enjoy it, despite Mugman not being the greatest at it. He then takes up Cuphead as a student, just to steal a song and supposedly be killed. Ludwig is portrayed as a villain and a massive prick. Ludwig is done 10 times better in the Cuphead show, especially since he actually has a personality. The final character for today is Calamaria. Calamaria is a fan favorite boss. She's a giant mermaid siren and a powerful foe. Kala in the game is flirty, but also sneaky and ready to feast on those who get in her way. She also thanks the Cups for their help in defeating the devil. In the series, she's much more evil, turning almost everyone who comes up to her, also threatening to eat those in her path. Kala dreams to be the most dreaded sea monster in the world, and in the game, she doesn't have a goal like this. This, of course, makes us believe that the Cuphead show does Kala better. But I'm afraid I must eat you and your crew now. By the end of our discussion, we found that a lot of characters are handled better in the series, but that doesn't put down the game's versions, so we figured that while the game has very interesting versions of the characters, we believe that the show has more deep and varied versions, and as such, the Cuphead show has the slightly better version of these characters, at least in our eyes. All right, guys, that's it. Let us know in the comment section if you agree with our ranking and tell us what we should cover next. Remember to hit that notification bell and binge more of our videos, but most importantly, stay wicked.